Whoosh. Ah. I'm pretty sure if I was an astronaut, I'd need more than goggles to survive in space. Ah. Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool backpack accessory that will help you go trick or treating. If you're dressing up as an astronaut or someone that just needs to walk around with a really cool uh, rocket booster, this is the project for you. Uh, the cool thing about this project is that you could either wear it by itself or you can attach it to your backpack. Um. The other great thing is that the rockets open up so that you can put your candy inside. In my rocket pack, I have these really cool bakeable Kit Kats that I found in Little Tokyo, and I'm really excited to try those out. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include two cardboard tubes, a stapler, a ruler, some small wooden dowels or skewers, scissors, some red, some orange, and some yellow crepe paper, silver spray paint, some black spray paint, some loose cardboard, Velcro, a paper bag, some poster board, a hot glue gun, and some glue sticks. First, take your scrap piece of cardboard and create a rectangular rod, connecting it together with hot glue. You want to create a rod that's roughly a little shorter compared to your tube. This is going to act as a divider between your two cylinders. Next, measure out two two-inch strips on your brown bag. You want to make sure that you're cutting through the entire bag so that you're making use of the whole bag. Once you've cut out your two strips carefully, use a small amount of hot glue to combine them together. Starting from one end, go ahead and fold your strip into thirds. Continue to fold this all the way down until everything has been creased into thirds. Using a small amount of hot glue, combine your strips by adding small pieces of glue at a time, folding it over, and then folding the next piece. Continue to do this until your entire strip has been combined. Using spray paint, you're gonna go ahead and spray your items. Coat your rod and your strip with black spray paint. And go ahead and coat your tubes with the silver spray paint. Make sure you remove the caps before you spray paint your items. Once the paint has dried on your tube, go ahead and take the plastic caps and apply a small amount of hot glue onto the edge. Apply the glue and then you're gonna attach this right back onto the bottom of your tube. Be very careful when you're doing this. To create the flames of your booster pack, first take the red crate paper and fold it over each other to create eight to nine layers that are about three to four inches long. Do that, cut it off, and then Fold it in half. Take your stapler, staple it together, then trim the edges of your paper. Repeat the process until you have four red pieces, two orange pieces that are slightly longer than the red piece, and one yellow piece that's longer than the orange piece. Once you have all your pieces, gently poke a small hole under the staple and begin to thread it into your wooden rod. Do two reds, followed by an orange, then the yellow, then an orange, then a red again. Once your pieces have been threaded into your wooden dowel, go ahead, take your hot glue gun and add a small amount of hot glue onto the edge of your first piece and your last piece. You want to have these centered on your wooden dowel so they can be centered on your rocket booster. Take the unglued cap of your booster rocket and then trim your wooden dowel so that it fits snugly right into the cap of your booster rocket. Once you're confident that your wooden dowel is the right size for the cap of your booster rocket, remove it from the cap and then apply it 
to the bottom of the actual rocket piece. Take your hot glue gun and then secure the wooden dowel into place. Once the glue has set on the bottom of your booster rocket, go ahead and cut out a two inch piece of poster board to attach to the bottom of your rocket. Apply a small amount of hot glue and then just put it on the rim of your booster rocket. Do this so that it is surrounding the entire bottom piece. Once you've made the two rockets for your booster pack, go ahead, take your black rod, and then attach some hot glue to one side and glue it onto your booster rocket. This will act as a divider between the two pieces. Attach it to both sides so that it's a good separator. Find the center of your strip and then center it to the back of your rocket. What you're gonna do is you're gonna loop it around, make a cross in the front, and then loop it back to the back of your rocket. While this is holding everything in place, what you're going to do is take your hot glue gun and attach everything onto your rocket. Make sure the, these two strips are still loose because this is what you're gonna use to attach onto either yourself or to a backpack. The last thing that you're going to do is you're gonna take some Velcro, add a little bit of hot glue to it, and you're gonna attach it to the edge of your strip so that you can actually attach this either to yourself or to your backpack. Once you've attached the Velcro onto your rocket blaster, you are done with your project. Uh, an optional step that I did was I took a staple gun and I stapled the straps onto the rocket blaster just to make sure that it's a little bit more secure and a little more sturdy. I also used some duct tape to line the insides where the staples were popping out uh, just so that it won't uh, scratch anyone. Um, if you do use a stable gun, make sure you do it in a really safe environment. And if you need the help of an adult, make sure you ask for help. Uh, once this is done and complete, the great thing about this rocket blaster is that you can use it for trick or treating. Um, you can take your tubes and you can fill it up with some Tootsie Pops. Or I found these really cool KKAD bars that are apparently bakeable and you can go ahead and put those in there as well. Put it in there, put the cap on, and then you officially have a really awesome trick or treat bag. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys are dressing up as for Halloween. If your costume has something that will help you accessorize and help you actually go trick or treating. Um, also, make sure to check out our last two videos, the goo video and our uh, Thorhammer video, which is another fun Halloween thing. Um, if you do make this project, make sure you share it either on my Facebook page, on Twitter, or on Instagram using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag. And yeah, come back next time. Have a safe and fun Halloween and take care. Goodbye. Ah! That was really, uh, that was, feel free to laugh. Ha, 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 ha.